it's the jungle. And that's where Pedro is on holiday. Oh. Here is Pedro Pony. <laughs> Pedro! Nay. Hello, Peppa. Wow, is that your aeroplane? We've borrowed it for the afternoon. Are you having a nice holiday? Yes, it's brilliant in the jungle. There are parrots, monkeys and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I know a song about the jungle. Deep in the jungle, so very, very green. Swinging through the jungle. Oh. Does the jungle have puddles to jump in? Um, no. The jungle is nice, but we're going to the park to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> We'd better be on our way. Bye-bye, Pedro. Bye-bye, Peppa. My turn to drive. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> It really is just like driving a car. <laughs> Daddy, you have to go up in the air. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, before we go to the park, could we go somewhere else? Where were you thinking? Could we visit my friends on their holidays all around the world? Oh, I don't see why not. OK. Where next? The mountains. That's where Danny Dog is. Ruff. This is the life, eh, Danny? Ruff, ruff. Yes, Daddy. It's great. Pepper goes to Paris. Pepper is going to Paris today to see her friend Delphine Donkey. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then, Paris, here we come. Mummy, where is Paris? Paris is in France. We go on a ferry to get there. What is a ferry? Ha <laughs> ha, you'll see. This is the ferry. Wow. <laughs> there are lots and lots of cars in here. Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy, the boat is rocking about. Yes, Pepper. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh. Ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig, they might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah, Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour, Delphine. Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> oh, what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs, get your little Eiffel Towers here. The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. 
going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no! That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. You're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lapin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Peppa, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away, in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Pepper, it's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Pepper. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds. <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah! <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig. We, Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 da. Boop, boop. <laughs> It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? 
I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the train journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> Pepper has come to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. Do you think we should have told them we were coming? Hello, Mr Kangaroo! Oh, Mr Pig! What a surprise! You did say if we were ever passing, we should visit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Kylie, look who's just dropped by. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Kylie. <laughs> Hello, George. Remember my little brother, Joey? <laughs> Dinosaur. Grrr. The crocodile. <laughs> We're just going for a picnic. Do you want to come along? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> the kangaroo family have an aeroplane. Wow! You have a plane. Yes, we're going to fly to the picnic spot. All aboard! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Ooh! Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day. Going to a picnic a long, long way away. Going to the Outback on a sunny day. Flying to the Outback a long, long way away. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Outback. Um, what is the Outback? We're flying over it now. Oh, it looks like a desert. It kind of is. But the Outback is also a special, magical place for us. Is our picnic spot with our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't. Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. No. <coughs> oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Peppa likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. Oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. 
It's the only tree for miles and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Peppa, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Peppa. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. <coughs> Peppa and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Surfing. Peppa is on holiday at Kylie Kangaroo's house. What are we going to do today, Kylie? We're going to the beach. Yippee! I love the beach! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah! Then let's go! <laughs> this is the beach. Wow! Look at the sea and the waves. <laughs> yeah! You'll need life vests for the water. <laughs> Dad, are we good to go surfing now? You're all good. What is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady. Now, Peppa. Kylie is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! Whee! <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready? <laughs> George wants to go surfing. <laughs> Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown ups to surf. Woohoo! <laughs> your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> 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 your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Oh, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! What's that? Wave! Wave! wave, 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 wave. wave. <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! <laughs> George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I loved 
surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you, uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be great. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Pepper is on holiday in Australia at Kylie Kangaroo's house. I love it here at your house, Kylie. Yes, I could stay here forever. It's great having you all stay, but I will have to go to work today. What is your job, Mrs Kangaroo? I'm a marine biologist. What's that? I study sea creatures, like these little fish here. Ooh, a fish tank. But the fish I study don't live in a tank, they live in the sea. Do the fishes in the sea have little bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? <laughs> no, Pepper. That's just the sort of stuff people put in fish tanks. Would you all like to come and see where I work? Yes, please. I've been to where my daddy works. There was a telephone, lots of paper and colouring pens. It was a very nice office. I think you'll find my office is pretty fun too. <laughs> <laughs> this is my office. Where? There, Pepper. The sea. I've got the best office in the world. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. Wow! wow. Do you want a ride? Yes, please. OK, hop in. <laughs> Wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Pepper? <laughs> A little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, ho, ho. you're right, Pepper. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. It will all go to a good cause. Yes, it'll pay for lots more marine research. Hooray! That was a good day at the office. We saw coral and fishes and a turtle. This is a great holiday. I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> but you are going to leave sometime, right? Oh, not that you aren't welcome to stay as long as you like, of course. Thank you, Mrs Kangaroo. <laughs> this holiday is the best. 
Pepper is having a lovely holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. It is the end of Peppa's holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? OK, Mummy. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <laughs> don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No. <laughs> Dinosaur? No! It's a thing! Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang! A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow! Thank you, Kylie. Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball? Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible! I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! The boomerang has flown all the way back to Peppa. What was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Oh, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this! Ooh! Ooh. It's good, it's good, it's a good throw! Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes! yes. <laughs> well, I've loved having you stay, Pepper. We've loved it too, haven't we, George? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your present. Oh, yes, the boomerang. Thank you. Come back again. I will, just like the boomerang. <laughs> Pepper has had the best holiday ever with Kylie Kangaroo. Flying on holiday. Pepper and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. 
Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow! That's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> That sounds nice. <laughs> oh, Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. <coughs> it is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! Ah, that's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! 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 Bye, -bye. This is the airport. Goodbye! <gasps> Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Peppa and her family on holiday. George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> this is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency! Emergency. Then let's go! Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. Ooh, now it's sunny. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. Peppa and her family are flying through the sky on their way to a sunny holiday. <laughs> the holiday house. Peppa and her family are flying to another country for a holiday. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. Please fasten your seatbelts. This is Captain Emergency speaking. We are about to land in Italy. Oh, Italy! That sounds nice. The aeroplane has landed. Hooray! <laughs> oh dear. Pepper has left Teddy on the aeroplane. Now we need a car to drive to our holiday house. 
here is the place to borrow cars. Hello. Buongiorno. Come posso aiutare una così bella signora? In Italy, people speak Italian. Oh, um, we need a car. Non capisco. Let me handle this. I'm an expert at talking. <clears throat> we need a car. Uovo. Not eggs. A car. Um, no. Not flowers. No. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> ah, auto. Hey, hey. Brum, brum, beep, beep. Well done, George. <laughs> this bag is heavy. Oh. Are you sure we need everything in here, Mummy Pig? Yes. It's all very important. Are we going to get lost like we always do? <laughs> no, Pepper. The sat-nav will tell us the way. Benvenuto all'auto del futuro. In Italy, the sat-nav talks in Italian. Proseguire sulla... Maybe we don't need the sat-nav. Uh, let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. It can't be that different. Strada, porco! Driving in Italy is very different to driving at home. Hello! Yes, we're on holiday. Daddy, why are they beeping their horns at us? I expect they're saying hello. Can we say hello back? Of course we can. Hello! Everyone is so friendly here. <laughs> Pepper and her family are on their way to their holiday house. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, I can feel myself relaxing already. Teddy! I love Teddy on the aeroplane! Eh? What? We have to go back for Teddy. Uh... Oh, dear. It is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are. Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. <laughs> what have you done? Got in this bag, Mummy Pig. It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tin food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone. Let's ring Granny and Grandpa. <sniffs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. Hello? Hello, Granny. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Pepper for you. I miss you too, Goldie. <laughs> <sighs> it has been a long day. Now it is time for bed. Good night, my little piggies. <sighs> Pepper and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. It is the first morning of Pepper and her family's holiday in Italy. Ah, holiday. Daddy Pig is up bright and early. I'll just go for a little walk. Ah. Good morning, Mr Pig. I see you have found the swimming pool. This is Signor Goat. It is his job to look after the holiday house. <laughs> Daddy fell in the water. It's not funny. It is quite funny, Daddy. Ho, oh, oh. ho! I suppose it is a bit funny. This is my daughter. Hello, I'm Gabriella Gott. I'm Peppa Pig. <sniffs> Tell us if you need anything at all. We'd like to do some sightseeing. The village is very pretty. I will show you. OK. I'll just change out of these wet clothes. I don't look like a tourist, do I? You look perfect. Is everybody ready? 
Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> this is Gabriella's village. <laughs> Here is the shop of my auntie. Can I send a postcard? Who is it for? A goldfish. A goldfish? Maybe a postcard of the sea. Yes, Goldie the fish likes water. Bongo drums, carpets, garden gnomes. Who buys all this rubbish? Tourists. Oh, hello. Buongiorno. Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook first, no? OK. Peppa, let's write the postcard to your goldfish. Yes. I miss her very much. To Goldie. Wish you were here. Love and kisses, Peppa. <laughs> you can post the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Peppa loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you. Ciao. Goodbye. Oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy behind at the cafe. What a lovely, relaxing holiday we're having. Oh, dear. It's the police. Leave the talking to me. Hello, officer. I don't know what I did, but I won't do it again. Mr Pig, you're Teddy. Teddy! Thank you. Just doing my job, signora. Pepper and her family have arrived back at their holiday house. Time for bed. Can we ring Goldie the fish, Mummy? OK. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. I do hope we're feeding Goldie enough. Hello? Hello, Grandpa. Is Goldie all right? Goldie is fine. I sent her a postcard today. Has it arrived? Oh, not yet. But I'm sure it will get here soon. Night-night, uh, Grandpa. Night-night, Peppa. <sighs> Peppa and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. The end of the holiday. It is the last morning of Peppa's holiday in Italy. I'm just going for one last walk. What? <laughs> going for one last swim, Mr Pig? Uh, yes. One last swim before I go home. I want to stay on holiday forever. Holidays are nice, but they don't last forever, Peppa. Think of all your friends waiting for you back home. Yes. I miss my friends, and I miss Goldie the fish. Can I telephone Goldie? OK, Pepper. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Hello? Hello, Granny. How's Goldie? <coughs> um, she's eating well. I sent Goldie a postcard. Does she like it? The postcard hasn't arrived yet, Pepper, but I'm sure it will be here soon. Oh, we're coming home today. See you later. See you later. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Granny Pig. Is Peppa back from holiday? Not yet, Susie, but she's coming back today. Oh. Susie is missing Peppa. This suitcase is heavy. 
Are you sure we need all this stuff, Mummy Pig? These are important souvenirs from our holiday. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go home. Bye-bye. Ciao. Oh, look. Oh, dear. Peppa has forgotten Teddy. What a lovely holiday. Yes. I have never felt so relaxed. Ah. Hello, officer. Whatever I was doing, I won't do it again. Mr Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> We're going home today. Susie Sheep cannot wait for Peppa to get back home. Hello, Susie. Is Peppa home yet? No, Susie. But she's flying home now. Flying high in the sky. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's sunny when we get home. Peppa's family have arrived home. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig! What has Grandpa done to you? Um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa, you fed her too much. She was always hungry. We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa, not yet. Oh. That's my postcard. Hello. Oh, it's only Susie. I've really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, oh, oh, ho, we got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Holidays are nice, but coming home to muddy puddles is even better. <laughs> <laughs> the camper van. Peppa and George are very excited today. They are going on a holiday. Oh, where's Daddy? He's bringing a secret surprise. <laughs> What's that? It's a camper van. We've borrowed it for our holiday. <gasps> this camper van has everything. This button works the sink. Wow! And this button works the TV. <laughs> what does this button do? I'm not sure. Maybe don't press it until we know. Is everybody ready to go on holiday? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, this map is a bit tricky. Daddy, we don't want to get lost. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm an expert at map reading. Oh, that's strange. Are we lost? Uh, yes. It's Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. We're lost. Lost? Is your sat-nav broken? Sat-nav? You're driving a camper van T3200. Sat-nav comes as standard. Welcome to the car of the future. Ah. So that's what that button does. Where are we going today? The camper van is talking. Clever, isn't it? The computer voice helps you find your way. 
But how does it know where we want to go? You tell it. Uh, hello, Mrs Camper Van. Hello. We're going on holiday. Can you tell us the way? Proceed on the current road in a straight line. Thanks for your help, Grandad Dog. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. We simply pour the oil into the engine and... Oh. What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. It's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? Yes. It's completely disappeared. I'd like to help, but I don't know a thing about engines. I'm probably just being silly, but this looks a bit like an engine. Ah, yes. Well spotted, Mummy Sheep. The camper van has its engine at the back. There. That should be enough oil. Thank you, Mummy Sheep. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Just up the next hill. You have reached your destination. Hooray! Time for bed. Where will we sleep? Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed. Ooh! And you two will sleep upstairs. But there isn't an upstairs. Ho, oh, oh, ho, watch this. The camper van's roof is lifting up. The camper van is just like our little house. <laughs> While we're on holiday, it is our little house. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Camping holiday. Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. <laughs> Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature program. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh. Good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <coughs> There's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! Let's go to Duckland! <laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when, when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, 
it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All our brothers and sisters are here. <laughs> and here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. <laughs> ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> it is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead. Into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. Uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Sailing on the river in the camper van. <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're home. Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going on holiday, but it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. The castle. Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. A pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked at owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle, where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello! It is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here, at the cannon. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? <laughs> no, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! <laughs> that almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh! Yes, we try to keep it simple. 
This is fun. <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow. This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box! Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! Huh? It's heading for our car! Another reason we say, cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour! Hope you had a lovely time. <laughs> I think that was George's best day out ever! <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Oh, didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madame Gazelle? Yes, Mr. Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. Oh dear, where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up, who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump? My mummy! My, my, my daddy! My daddy! My daddy. My daddy. My we mommy. need just one! Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! <laughs> All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's OK, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, 
Sorry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. Oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. Oh. Got you. Oh, she's got him. Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Ho, ho, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>